I thought given the current political climate in our country concerning immigration, it would be appropriate to do a review of a game whose main objective is to ensure border security. Papers, Please. Now, Papers, Please is an indie game where you play as in a booth as an agent on the border post responsible for reviewing the documents of hopefuls looking to enter your fictional, I'm going to say Eastern European country. The game at first feels a little bit weird. With the entire game space consisting of you uh, at like a desk in a booth and then a long line of people waiting to get in and you just sitting there reviewing their papers. And the game very much feels like DMV Trainer 5000 with a sad and gray motif. And I'm pretty sure gray can be a motif, so I'm going to say that it's a gray teeth. Uh, as you check the documents provided to you for accuracy, the game uh, feels like you're actually preparing for a customs job. Like they could put this at like the Department of a Homeland Security as a virtual trainer. But the game does ramp the difficulty up day by day. On day one, a suicide bomber jumps the gate, and once that starts, the parameters for legal entry into the country change. More documents are needed, and the fictional government pays you by the number of people processed, so speed is very, very important. You have to get as many people through your post as possible in a single day. And to compound the necessity for speed, you have an in-game family that needs you to house them, feed them, make sure that where they live have heat and when you can't afford let's say heat they get sick and then they need medicine and when you can't afford medicine they die and that's game over your fictional in-game family dies and you get fired in the game because if you can't maintain a family this uh government is like ah, no family you can't work for us it's it's, it's very weird you think you'd be better at it but not family dead the game is over and that background pressure takes what feels like the mundane act of passport checking and it pushes you to, to, to get through the line as fast as possible, day by day. And that's when you'll make mistakes. Somewhere in the air is an all-knowing eye. And the eye is not actually depicted in-game. I'm just saying use your imagination for an already an imaginary situation. And they can tell immediately after you make a mistake that you made a mistake. And they work on a three-strike system. You mess up twice, and on the third time, they deduct five credits for every mistake after. And that's a huge swing in this game, especially when most commodities cost about 15 credits. So if you're using 15 credits for, let's say, food, and you get a deducted five, and you only have 10, then you can't afford food, and your family goes hungry, and we all know what happens there, the dreaded game over screen. Aside from the journey for money, you also get pulled into the life events of citizens trying to enter your country. You can split up entire families due to insufficient paperwork, or choose to keep them united and ignore the lack of paper. Now this could lean to a fine from the government, but still kind of a clean conscience as you, you play this moral choice. Now. You could be left in a situation where you've already made two mistakes for the day. And they're like, hey, let me in. I don't have papers. And if that's the case, you might go, family's got to eat, lady. I'm sure you'll find a way to survive somehow, even without your husband. And as more and more days pass, the game becomes filled with some political intrigue. Dossiers are dropped off at your booth for handing off to spies. Diplomats visit to help ease border tension. You can help stop a human trafficking ring. You form an alliance with a guard who throws you kickbacks for every person you send to detention because he gets paid by how many people he checks. You get to take pictures using that TSA camera that violates people's privacy. And the game is all this while you never leave this very gray frame of your desk and an infinite line of people looking to get in. And I, it's gonna sound, I highly recommend this game. I, I day one you feel a little weird. By day two you start ramping up, and it 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 just feels fun and tense. And if you catch it on Steam sale, and you're looking for something outside of the traditional first-person shooter RPG blah that I'm sure you're probably trapped in, then, then this is a great change of pace. Now, as per the bylaws of YouTube, this is a part of any video where I remind you that subscribe button is not a suggestion, it's a government mandate, and go ahead and leave a comment below Let me how you feel about Papers, Please, the single best paperwork simulator on earth.